thermometers measure temperature due to thermal expansion of liquid inside. It can be either mercury or alcohol. Mercury, though metal, is liquid at room temperature. Thermal expansion means increase in a volume of a substance due to increase in its temperature. As the object gets hotter, its particles move faster. The particles themselves do not expand. They just spread out so that the entire substance expands. Different substances expand by different amounts for a given temperature change. When you bring thermometer in contact with hot substance, the liquid inside the thermometer expands. Only way it can accommodate in the tube is to rise up. You measure the temperature of a substance by measuring the expansion of the liquid in the thermometer. Mercury is commonly used in thermometers. It remains liquid over large temperature ranges and expands and contracts consistently as it gets heated or cooled. Here is the regular thermometer which can measure temperatures up to 100 degrees Celsius. Watch the level of mercury inside as I heat the water. In general, thermometers are devices that measure temperatures of the system. These devices are based on the change in the physical property of the substance when its temperature changes. It can be change in volume, dimension of the solid, pressure of gas or color. Temperature is measured in different systems. Celsius and Kelvin are two scales which are commonly in use. You might ask how scientists decide which state of particles should be called as 0 degrees Celsius and which is 100 degrees Celsius. Celsius and centigrade are used interchangeably. Scientists decided to use water as a reference for calibration. When pure water and ice coexist at atmospheric pressure at sea level, it is defined to have temperature as 0 degrees. This is written as 0 degrees Celsius. This temperature is called as ice point of water. Mixture of steam and water at atmospheric pressure is defined to have a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. This is called as steam point of water. We will construct a thermometer which can measure temperature in some predefined range. Our lower range will be the room temperature that is 30 degrees Celsius and higher range will be that of the hot water that is 70 degrees Celsius. As mercury is hazardous and difficult to handle as well, we will use methanol. This is used in heating lamps in the laboratory. We will add some ink to make it visible. Let us use this small glass bottle and fix a thin glass tube to the lid. We will ensure that it is leak proof. Let me place this in hot water. Its temperature is 70 degrees Celsius. When heated, methanol expands. It rises up in the tube as a result of expansion. You can see the level rising. After some time, we will mark it. This is our higher range. After some time, level in the glass tube comes down. This is our lower range at room temperature. We can divide this length into 40 equal parts. This is our version of regular thermometer. It can measure temperature from 30 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. Each division represents a change in temperature of 1 Celsius degree. Methanol contracts on cooling. We can place it in cold water. Its level in the glass tube goes down. Try to build similar thermometer for lower ranges. There are other scales like Kelvin, Fahrenheit which are also used in the industry. Fahrenheit temperature scale is a scale based on 32 for the freezing point of water and 212 for the boiling point of water. 
the interval between the two being divided into 180 parts. Until the 1970s, the Fahrenheit temperature scale was in general common use in English speaking countries. Celsius or centigrade was employed in most other countries and for scientific purposes worldwide. Since that time, however, most English speaking countries have officially adopted the Celsius scale. The conversion formula for a temperature that is expressed in Celsius to Fahrenheit is F equal to 9 multiplied by C divided by 5 plus 32. Celsius temperature scale also called as centigrade temperature scale is the scale based on 0 that is for the freezing point of water and 100 for the boiling point of water. Invented in 1742 by the Swedish astronomer Andres Celsius, it is sometimes called as centigrade scale because of the 100 degree interval between the defined points. We can use this formula to convert a temperature from its representation on the Fahrenheit scale to the Celsius scale. C equal to 5 divided by 9 multiplied by F minus 32. The Celsius scale is in general use wherever the metric units have been accepted and it is used in scientific work everywhere. Challenge Can you find out the temperature of the brine solution in degree Celsius? Its temperature is 7.9 degree Fahrenheit. Kelvin temperature scale is the base unit of thermodynamic temperature measurement in the international system. Many physical laws and formulae can be expressed more simply when an absolute temperature scale is used. Accordingly, the Kelvin scale has been adopted as the international standard for scientific temperature measurement. The Kelvin scale is related to Celsius scale. The difference between the freezing and boiling point of water is 100 degrees in each. So that the Kelvin has the same magnitude as the degree Celsius. Can you build your own thermometer scale by using metals like aluminum or copper? If I use alcohol instead of mercury in the thermometer, will the distance between 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius mark be the same? Can we use mercury thermometer to measure temperatures below minus 40 degrees Celsius? Discuss with your friends and find out. Not all thermometers use liquid for measuring temperature. You might have seen different types of thermometers in the market. This probe thermometer is used in catering for measuring temperatures of food, liquids and semi-solids. The digital display is easy to read. This thermometer is based on internal sensor. This is an infrared thermometer. We can measure temperature of an object without touching it. It has a sensor in the front which records the temperature of an object. Container to your right has water at room temperature while the one on your left has hot water. If we aim this infrared thermometer at left container, it reads temperature of hot water that is 66.7 degrees Celsius. Point it at the water in the container, it reads 24.7 degrees Celsius. Infrared thermometers are used for measuring extremely high or low surface temperatures. In these cases, it is difficult to go near the object. Analog thermometers are common in use at home. These thermometers are either liquid or bimetallic strips to measure the temperature. Clinical thermometer is used to measure human body temperature. They are very accurate and sensitive. Most show both Fahrenheit as well as Celsius temperature scales. The scale runs from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Lab thermometers are used in laboratories for high accuracy with temperature ranges from minus 10 degrees Celsius to even 110 degrees Celsius. 
the usage of mercury is common newer thermometers use alternative to mercury like sensors or alcohol summary we discussed how temperature is measured and working of thermometer scale of temperature is a way to measure temperature quantitatively empirical scales measure the quantity of heat in a system in relation to a fixed parameter a thermometer they are not absolute measures that is why scales vary we discussed about three scales celsius fahrenheit and kelvin challenge its temperature is also higher than the aluminum block when i place these two in contact which way heat energy will flow hammer to aluminum or aluminum to hammer when water is heated its temperature rises by 10 degrees celsius how much it must have been increased in degrees kelvin